This is lesson 86 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, using objects for lookups. Objects can be thought of as a key slash value storage, like a dictionary. If you have tubular data, you can use an object to look up values rather than a switch statement or an if else chain. This is most useful when you know that your input data is limited to a certain range. Here's an example of a simple reverse alphabet lookup. So they have their object, property 1 has a value of z, 2y, 3x, 4w, all the way down to 26a. Here we can see alpha brackets 2 is going to bring back a y, because that's what's stored there. And property 2, 24 would be c, because that's what's the value of 24. Here they create a variable called value and assign it to. Then when they do alpha bracket value, it's going to have the y. Instructions convert the switch statement into a lookup table called lookup. Use it to lookup val and assign the associated string to the result variable. So we can come over here and we're just going to convert our switch statement here into an object. And we can actually do this. We're going to create, I think it said lookup. Yeah, called a lookup table called lookup. So let's do that. We'll call lookup. It's an object, so curly braces. And we want to pretty much convert this. So key value, key slash value, so that's our property, or key. So we would put alpha, and then atoms, comma, bravo, Austin. Charlie in Chicago Delta Echo Fox Trap Delta Talk down very easy Frank King Frank so here delta was got the common here delta which contained the value Denver comma and delta echo and that was easy I believe easy and then Frank Frank. So the value in echo will be easy. And then Fox Trot contains Frank. Okay. I think we need a semicolon there. So our object pretty much is the same as this switch. Or we can uh, access those values. So what we want it to return is going to change. We're going to want it to return, depending on what is written in, inside our function here, the arguments that are passed in, it's going to go into val. So we're going to want to replace lookup val. So when Charlie's passed in, it's passed into our function here, which is going to, it's going to have Charlie in it. So once it comes down here and it will returns lookup val, val's Charlie. So lookup Charlie, it's going to go in here 
and it's going to print Chicago, or should return Chicago. So that should be it for this lesson. We should get Chicago. Let's try something else like uh, Delta. This should return Denver, and it works. So I just see that it does tell us to assign the associated string to the result variable, which we didn't do. All we got to do is here we will update result and have it assign lookup eval assign it here and then here we just return result and it does the same thing except now we actually stored um, look up val into a variable called result or oh, we just updated it since we already had an empty string here so when we return result should return what is in the valley of delta which is denver so again it should do the same thing and now we're good